Good morning. Today is December the 13th, and this is Pastor Rick's Reflections. Today we're going to look at a subject out of the Lutheran Handbook, Part 2. Uh, how to handle yourself when you get angry at God. Because that happens. While anger may appear to run counter to worshiping God, irritation and even outright anger have been and continue to be legitimate emotions emanating from believers. Appropriate anger may be seen as part of the faithful believer's repertoire of sentiments when used sparingly and within reason. So how to handle, handle yourself in these situations? One, identify the issues. Directing anger at God serves as a natural response in certain situations, including the sudden death of a loved one or unanswered prayers. However, the source of anger may not always be clear. In such situations, take time, perhaps silently, to identify the basis of your anger. Two, evaluate your response. Consider whether your level of hostility compares to what you perceive God's transgression to be. Not getting a raise or failing a test may provoke a generalized sense of anger that includes the Almighty, but nonetheless should be directed elsewhere. Three, watch your mouth. Anger is acceptable. Disrespect is not. Keep the commandments at all times. Avoid dishonoring or slandering God. Another way to handle yourself when you're angry at God, avoid physical violence. Reject taking out anger on other people, places, or things. Wrestling with God has been attempted, but seldom proves faithful and can lead to, dislocation, lead to hip dislocation and a residual limp. See the story in Genesis 32. You might consider taking a time out. Shunning worship is not advised. Use communion time for prayer and continued dialogue with God. Uh, another way, review the history of humans getting angry with God. You're not the first person to get angry with God, and you won't be the last. Read scripture to identify how others have worked through righteous fury. Note occasional risk of smiting, though. <clears throat> another way to handle yourself when you're angry at God, identify and accept your own responsibility. Understanding what has caused your anger may lead to introspection and subsequent reassignment of responsibility. And of course, make nice. At the appropriate time, thank God for steadfastness through times of anger, for forgiving your outburst, and just call it a truce. But be aware, time to time, anger at God may become nondescript and lingering. Recruit the counsel of a third party. Recruiting the counsel of a third party may be wise. When anger turns into bitterness, conversations with a pastor or a professional therapist may be valuable. For clergy, such counseling for anger toward God may fall under employee assistance programs under work-related stress. Ha, ha, ha. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you for another day you give us. Another day where we are loved by you and where we look for signs of your love all around us. Help us to be those signs for one another. We thank you that you are always with us, even when we might get angry. Uh, when we get angry at you for no real reason, we know you're big enough to handle it and you forgive us for it. Help us to be able to work through the times when uh, we seem to be at odds with you. Keep us always in your care and remind us of your love. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.